conditions, dude. <laughs> I can't work under these conditions. <laughs> this is why the cats hang out in the living room while I stream. Mm -hmm. One, so I don't get distracted and they don't get in my way. And two, so they don't eat something that they shouldn't. But now we gotta do both because someone had plaque on their teeth. Even though I was brushing their teeth. Goblin. Hi. Oh, yes, you're very cute, though. Oh, I'm sorry. Ow! Your tail! My eye! Oh, God. Goodness gracious. Dear Lord, okay. Well, let's resume. Get some music in here. Oh, hello, chat. Hello. Oh, boy. Whoa! We, do we have a lot to talk about before we get into it? <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Come down. <laughs> oh, God. Goblin. 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 Oh, my God. Goblin. Please. Honey. Go to sleep. How do you have so much energy? I drank water and she was like, whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> She's like, whoa! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, for those of you who are not following me on Twitter, uh, Goblin went and I had to be up at 5 a.m. this morning uh, to take Goblin to the vet. Also, Vaderbro5186, thank you so much for the tier one, uh, tier one sub for 13 months. Thank you so much. Um, I had to take Goblin to the vet this morning at, at 5 a.m. Well, her appointment was at 7 a.m., but I had to be awake at for 5 a.m. to make sure, you know, everything was good to go. Um, but she, I booked this, like, last year. She had to get teeth cleaning. She had pretty bad plaque on her teeth. Um, so they had to put her under anesthetic. They also checked her ears, because I actually poked one of her ears with a, um, cotton swab. Not a cotton swab, the, you know, the ear cleaners. The things they tell you not to put in your ears, but, you know. Yeah. Let's be real. Um, oh, no. Hey, no, guys. Oh, God. <laughs> We're not going to save the galaxy like this. Yeah, Q-tips. <laughs> uh, at one point, I was I, I used Q-tips to clean Goblin's ears, but not the depth of her ear. There's, like, little crevices where I can't get in and I need to clean the wax out. Because she's a Sphinx cat. You have to clean their ears pretty frequently. Uh, but unfortunately one time I was cleaning her ear and she like kicked up with both of her legs and it jammed the q-tip down her ear and she like squawked and I've been kind of weird like worried about it ever since so I asked them to check it and they said she was fine like her eardrum was fine which was good she is playing with a toy goblin does not play with toys <laughs> oh my god it's like mom won't play with me I guess we'll play with this. Dude, Spriggan's watching her. Like, what the what the hell? She's playing with a toy. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is amazing. Holy shit. She's clumsily doing it, but she's playing with a toy. What the hell did they give that cat? Dude, I think they gave her, like, they were like, oh, God. Oh, no, Spriggan. <gasps> so, remember how I told you Spriggan had a price tag on her? Mm-hmm. Yep. It's from the six uh, A, D, and D books that I got, and she rolled in all of them. She's covered in them. <laughs> <laughs> They're playing with the same toy. That's adorable. Except for Spriggan's covered with price tags. So that's fine. That's a that's a later Monty problem. That is a later Monty. That might be a right now Monty problem. May want to uh, get those off her. Yeah, hold on. I'm gonna go get those off for really fast. No, don't run, Spriggan. Don't run away. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. By sitting in them. So, how fair are you today, chat? Oh, chat? How's it going, guys? 
Brigitte says, no, mom, let me keep my new friends. Alright, hello. Oh, god. Okay, well, they have toys. They seem to be doing okay. No one's fighting each yeah. other. Um, Th this is your chance. Oh, god. Along with the last. Couple. Also, Breezy, welcome in for the first time. Oh, no. Hey, hey, hey. Uh-uh. No. <laughs> Goblin. Sorry, Spriggan just tackled Goblin. I yelled at them, and the Goblin looked at me like, Mom, how dare you yell at me? <laughs> God damn it, cats. Sorry, chat. This is gonna be absolute chaos. So, anyway, I woke up in, this morning at 5 a.m. I had to take Goblin to the vet. Showed up, 7 a.m., on time. Let's go poggers um took her in and they're like you know they talked to me for a while they explained the procedure and whatnot um and then they're like you know who is spriggan spriggan's my other cat um she's the emote actually right above you the like to boogie emote hi um and so i went home Swung by, oh my god, 13 absoles. I have words for you, 13 absoles. You and Infinite Kitty both. You're menaces. Um, <laughs> sorry, that's really mean. But you are. Thank you for the tier one sub. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I dropped her off. I swung by Tim Hortons on my way home, sat down, and then me and Spriggan spent some time together because she was like, where's Goblin? And so we spent some time together, uh, and then uh, they called me twice. Once to let me know that Goblin, the procedure went well. And the second time, basically, to be like, hey, come and pick her up at, like, this time, essentially. So, drove down at 11.30, picked her up, brought her home, uh, and then just watched her. They told me to get her wet food because her teeth might be tender. So I went, I swung by the pet store on her way, my way home uh, and picked up some wet food. Got home, set up a litter box in my office. I just want to split them apart, right, because I didn't want Goblin or Spriggan to start, like, you know, playing... Um, so I got litter box set up, water set up, put the wet food on, like, a little plate, and then gave her dry food, and she just immediately was like, I don't want that. She literally sniffed the wet food, and I've never seen a cat so disgusted. It was like a child eating a Brussels sprout for the first time. Like, she sniffed it and was like, ugh. Like, she did not touch it. And I was like, well, great, I just bought, like, four cans of wet cat food in case, you know, she would need it. She's not even gonna touch it. So, you know, for a couple hours, just kept them away from each other. And then eventually, like, you know, opened up the door. Spriggan devoured the wet food. She, like, was like, oh, hey, Gabu, And then went over and ate all of the wet food all at once. So, they didn't go to waste, which is good. Where did they go? Oh, God. Where did they go? Mm. Um, but, Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 13 absoles. Hold on. I gotta look up something really fast. I gotta, I gotta check my throne real quick because it's like... Hold on. Oh god, it's taking forever to load. I was scared I lost my my internet there. Okay, so here's, here's a problem that's not a problem, but now it is a problem. I am running out of space for model kits, honestly. <laughs> I don't have space on my shelves anymore. Um, so... Sounds like you need a new shelf. I'm working on it. <laughs> I am I am currently working on it. So I I'm currently trying to uh I'm currently trying to rearrange furniture. I'm trying to save up money for a my dresser, which oh my god, there's a whole other saga is the dresser saga. <sighs> I'm a boring person. I don't find you boring. <laughs> what was it you called me, Bosco? You called me old. I did call you old. You told me old. But I'm excited about, like, I'm excited about things that, like, old people are excited about. Correct. You're, like, 25 going on 53. Yeah. Where are my cats? You've got big grandma energy. I, where uh, are my cats? Where did I put my cats? I just they're around here somewhere. They're in the living room, which is probably okay, hopefully. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I 
just can't see them when they're in there. It makes me nervous. Uh, can we buy you an entire warehouse on your throne? Uh, no. <laughs> no, you cannot. Also, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say- I'm gonna say something controversial, chat. Uh, okay. also, Gorn ZX, thank you so much for the- Normalized dandelions for breakfast. Dude. Shh. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening to the Prince Image for the past two weeks, and I got two questions. One, would, uh, Zobi and Nifty from Hasbun Hotel be good friends? And two, have you ever thought of a side quest where the players had to attend parking duty like in Zootopia? Hundred bits. Um, I don't remember which one's Nifty. The Nifty's the one that hangs around with Alistair, the little guy. The Cyclopean maid. Yeah. Oh, I thought I thought you were thinking about the eggs. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like the one who like stabs or whatever. Yeah. 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 Oh, definitely stabs. I don't know. I feel like I feel like Zobi and in they they'd have the same chaotic energy, but but Zobi's non-lethal and she's lethal. It Correct. seems like yeah. yeah. So probably Very lethal. not. As far as parking duty goes, Gail would not be good at enforcing that. I also, I'm going to be real with you, because um, my mom, you know, is a member, uh, she hated that. She said it was the worst thing, you feel really bad. The only thing she ever said is that she dinged a lot of taxi drivers, because, uh, for like speeding tickets, I guess specifically. She would go after mm -hmm. taxi drivers, because they, they caused a lot of accidents where she was, and so she really pissed her off a lot because they were very reckless and they're endangering a lot of people at the time. And it was because this, like, company like, I'm paraphrasing, I don't know the details, but, like, the company's management was not, like, making sure that the drivers were, like, following the law. And it was a huge issue. But, yeah, no, I, that's something like that's a little boring and also parking stuff is, like, it's kind of lame. But... Yeah. Especially because you call them parkades instead of parking garages. Spurgeon, why are you going inside the backpack? Oh, wait, wait. I know. We could find them for their rims and how high off the ground they are. <laughs> Hi. I didn't say it. Hi, honey. I'm ignoring you. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. It's funny as shit to, to me. You can ignore whatever you want. Hey Bob, how are you doing? Glorious. I played Hell Divers with Bob recently. It was a lot of fun. I I was forced to get Hell Divers <gasps> because someone sent it to me. It's really fun though. I know. I've watched a lot of people play it. You should play it. It's very like Halo kind of esque. It does have a little bit of an ODST feel, but it feels more like Gears of War the way it's third. It person feels like Gears of War, thing. Left for Dead, and Halo. That's the it's least... only third person if you want it to be. Whenever you aim down, aim down sights with your gun, it's you can press person. button to swap into first person. Mm. I'm gonna grab some water and then I'm gonna talk about my dresser because, you know. <laughs> People follow me for that hard hitting content. Hey, it works. Yeah, anytime you aim with your gun, you can just press a button to aim down sights. Nice. And depending on the gun, like the DMR, the sniper, you can actually change the zoom uh, power. Hmm. Monty is very fond of sniping in that game. I love it! Monty likes to snipe in that game? You don't say. I just looked outside my window and on the right... Why do I have a price tag on me now? What the hell? Where are <laughs> these coming from? I threw these out. Yeah, don't worry, Monty. You'll always be worthless to us. Oh, God. No, I'm worth $30. Thank you. Canadian, though. Yeah, so like $2 <laughs> So <American>. like. <laughs> God. Uh... <laughs> it's so, it messes me up so hard, the American and Canadian amounts, because of websites and stuff. Looking... Going back to the dresser adventure, I've been trying to find a dresser. Specifically, I need a dresser with specific dimensions. It cannot be wider than 47 inches. It cannot have a depth higher than 18 inches. And it can't. It has to be around like 30 to 35 or more like tall, right? So I've been looking for a dresser. I'm just going to say, I'm going to say something controversial here, chat. Maybe it's not controversial. It's probably not controversial at all. Amazon sucks for furniture. <laughs> like... So... Take out the furniture and you're good. Yeah. Eh. 
but like, oh my god, I go to, go to IKEA. I would love to, Bosco. I would love to yeah. go to IKEA. I'm gonna get to IKEA in a second, okay? All right. I'm never gonna get sponsored by any furniture company because I'm about to pop off on this. Okay, I want a dresser. I have these specific dimensions that I need, and I need it to fit in, and I need it to hold about I'm gonna say like 70 pounds. Like maybe let's go 100. Let's go safe and go 100, okay? For the glass tank that I need to put on, um, like, on top of it. So I'm like, okay. Start with Amazon, because fuck it, why not? Start with Amazon. Everything is particle wood and can't carry hold more than 30 pounds. Plus, the bane of my existence, because I also want to use this dresser for miniature storage, because God, do I need more miniature storage. Um, so I, I'm looking and I want, I have specific guidelines. I need, I need like drawers to put big minis in. I'd like some smaller drawers to put smaller minis in. And I need a really solid foundation to put a, at least a hundred, you know, hundred pound tank on top of it. Hi. Okay. You, you just, okay, fine. Thanks, goblin. <laughs> this is so unnecessary. Sorry. So, I go on, I look at Amazon Nightmare. Also, I hate, I hate, I hate chat. I hate with a passion. I despise with a passion cloth drawers on furniture. I, I hate cloth drawers on furniture for what is supposed to be a dresser. It makes the blood boil in me. Maybe it's because I'm, I'm a woodsy person. I, wa I want that shit to be made out of wood or metal, not cloth. Not the storage cubes. They're drawers made out of cloth. Because it's cheap. So, Amazon, bust. Can't buy anything off of Amazon, which, you know, whatever. It's it's the first place to go. And I'm like, okay. Can't go with Amazon. Uh, let's check, like, Walmart. We're going to go check Walmart. So I check Walmart. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I check uh, a local store. I check two local stores here. And I'm not going to dox myself. Um, one of them, again, nothing. Uh, they had, you know, it wasn't their fault. They're a smaller store. They only carry, they carry, like, uh, they're kind of, like, an Ikea adjacent, but, like, a smaller Ikea. I, I don't know really what to compare to it American-wise, but it's, like, a mini Ikea. They don't have as big of a stock. They have, like, smaller things. It's, it's a college student kind of, like, I'm buying, like, just cheap furniture to house a small apartment, and I'm only living here for a bit kind of furniture, if that makes sense. It's called Ikea. Yeah, but, like, it's small. So, Target. So, we, not Target. Target and Walmart are more similar. This is exclusively, like, furniture and, like, decorative, like, things. Like, paintings and, and like, towels and stuff. Do you have winners? Do you guys have winners? No, it would have been like Never Bed Bath and Beyond, but I think they're gone. Actually, Bed Bath and Beyond is actually accurate. It's yeah. very much like Bed Bath and Beyond, but they lean towards like house bedroom stuff. So, Bed you know, Bed Bath and Beyond the Pale because that store is fucking dead. Is sure it? Is. We still have them here, I yeah. think. Yeah. Um, oh, good. So, so that store bust, and I'm like, okay, let's go to like the downtown like big giant warehouse store. Um, and so I look at their dressers. Yeah, they wanted like $2,000 for a dresser. And I was like, God damn it. I just want a dresser that is like, it doesn't even have to look like great. I just need to have these specific things. I was like, oh my God, this is a nightmare. I hate this. I hate being an adult. Why can't I just play Pokemon cards and, and not worry about getting a goddamn dresser? <laughs> so I'm looking and I'm like, God damn it. I, I... God, where else did I look? I looked at... Oh, yeah, Ikea. Let's get into Ikea, right? I go on to Ikea. I look at all their stuff. First of all, Ikea must have a problem with being short because all of their dressers are either, like, really... Like, meant for a, a, a literal child or are so... Like, are tall, narrow dressers. So they don't have anything. I find the one thing that would work, the one piece of furniture on Ikea... Fits my dimensions, has the drawers that I want, color that I want, because I, I want it to be black, and, like, all these other things. And I'm like, awesome, click on it, we don't deliver, we don't ship, you have to pick it up in the store. And I'm like, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it, I just spent, like, an hour 
on Ikea trying to find a specific measured out dresser only to discover they refuse to deliver to where I live. I'm going to, I'm going to throw a Swedish meatball at someone. No, so, those are, don't eat that. Don't throw that. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm going to put a pin in it. I'm just going to deal with it later. I, 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 you know, and now we go on to, to Sunday. Sunday was crazy. I, I had a, an interesting weekend. Uh, so Darcy, it was Mario Day yesterday. Happy Mario Day, everybody. Uh, Darcy, who is my friend, uh, she's a tattoo artist, and they were doing what is like a flash sale for tattoos, where they had like Mario designs, and they were cheaper, and you could come in and get a tattoo for way cheaper for a flash sale. And so Darcy's like, hey, um, would you be willing to come and help be a secretary? Because, you know, people are busy. Um, a lot of people there, like, you know, usually they'd ask, like, a family member of the tattoo artist to come in and do it, but a lot of people are, like, having babies, and so they're busy. And so Darcy's mm -hmm. like, oh, hey, can you come and would you be willing to help out? And I was like, I tweeted about it. I was like, yeah, sure, I'll come and help out. That sounds like a neat time. I want to see it. Because, like, I've never, like, I've been to Darcy's workplace a couple times, but, like, I've never actually, like, been there when there's, like, other people. Um, so... I go, they're explaining to me, like, okay, here's the cash flow, here's, like, you know, how you have to write down who's getting what tattoo, and, like, you know, basically what to tell people and how to answer the phone. And I was getting, like, kind of a crash course, and I was like, okay, cool. Um, and, you know, they're setting up for this, and they're like, oh, we have, like, three people outside. And I was like, oh, that's good. Like, it's pretty good for tattoos, three people. And then they, like, had all these, like, they, the front of the store has, like, these three giant windows. Like, huge windows. What are the cats doing? What are you guys doing? Okay. As long as you guys aren't fighting. You can be weird, but just don't fight. Um, and so they, they opened up the windows of like, these giant, like, kind of warehouse. It's kind of like a warehouse brick building. It's really cool. Um, and so they opened these windows, and they were like, oh, we have, like, ten people outside. Like, waiting in line to get tattoos on Mario Day. And I was like, huh? So I, they let everybody in. There's a huge lineup. And I'm just like, and I'm like there and I'm just like, oh God, I thought it would be like very like, you know, like one or two people every couple hours sort of deal. So I'm taking names. Like they, I think they sold in total like 16 or 17 tattoos in one day. It was crazy. Um, and so like, I was there. It was fun. I, I got to be like behind the desk. I was like, eventually once it's kind of like chilled out a bit, I played like, uh, Metroid, and I was playing some Pokemon, and I played some Animal Crossing, kind of for funsies. Um, and there was quite a few tattoos. We had, like, three people who got their first tattoo ever. It was really cool. And so, uh, and so basically, you know, I was just hanging out. It was cool. I got to see Darcy, you know, do her thing. It was really cool, and I'm very proud of Darcy, because Darcy's been working very hard. Um, and... At the end of the day, everyone's like, okay, here's your here's your payment for helping us out. They basically just, every every artist fronted me 50 bucks. And I was like, wait, I'm getting paid? And they're like, yeah, we're going to give you money just for your time because you you were our secretary for today. And I was like, oh, cool. And they bought me lunch. It was nice. But while I was there, uh, Darcy had a, a uh, essentially a, from Home Depot, which I know you guys have. You have Home Depot. Um, yep. it's, like a, it's like a tool storage thing. She has, like, this really nice wood top, metal, wood, like, storage thing with lockable wheels. And, like, you can, you know, unlock the wheels to, like, roll it around. And I was like, wait a second. This is perfect. This is exactly the height I want it to be. I don't know what the width is, but this is perfect. This is the, this is the type of dresser I'm looking for. And so when we were driving back, Darcy gave me the information for it, and I looked it up. Sure enough, perfect fit. Uh, I'll, you know, I'm gonna, Darcy's gonna measure out the, the drawers just to see how deep they are, because again, mini storage, I need to make sure the drawers are deep. But, honestly, I think I'm gonna pro- Yeah, Husky! That's exactly- Oh my god, Herbfish, what a detective. Yeah, it's the Husky tool chest and workbench. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause it can hold a thousand- It can, it can, you can put a thousand pounds on top of it. Isn't that insane? Eh, not really. Okay, old well, tools. Yeah. okay, fine, yeah. whatever, man. I found it very That's exciting. Pretty... My father has a lot say... of those chests up in the yeah, garage. Yeah, if you've worked, on, if worked in a, a workshop before, you've probably seen one of those things. Fair enough, yeah. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, I can't put that on my throne. But, um, you know, I want to put money towards that. Luckily, Goblin's Teeth Cleaning did not cost me $1,200, which was good. cost me 
less than half of that, which is a relief, to say the least. Well, you can't exactly put that directly on the throne. You could just put a cash amount on the throne. I could, but sure I mean, people, people just can donate towards that. If people if they just want. bits and subs. That's that's equally as eff efficient. But yeah. Uh, well, not necessarily because you only get a portion of those. True. Subs, especially, are only fifty percent. Yeah, yeah, it's only fifty percent on subs. But here's the thing: with subs, people get something out of it. Like that's the part that you know they get their emotes, and I think that's, that's nice. That's true. Especially since we got all these new emotes by Nutcase that we're going to be getting, so you know. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You, sorry. You by the way, chat, I am so sorry. You came here to <laughs> watch, watch us save the galaxy, and Monty is just saving her minis. <laughs> just talking about drawers, and you know. I told you, you are a grandmother. It's exciting to me. I, it's, I, you are allowed to be. I'm just making an observation. Thank you so much, like Tabuya. A small contribution to the tool chest dresser. Thank you. Oh my god. Listen, man. Uh, on, on the note, though, 13 Absols, and, and, and it, not just Infinite Kitty, there are other people as well on the throne side of things. Uh, thank you guys so much. My parents still think I have a shopping addiction. I did add a moose book to my throne because my dad, I think, did I tell you guys this? Like, I caught my dad when I was going out in the car, and he was just like, who keeps sending you this stuff? And I'm like, oh, my chat for my streams. He's like, and he, like, paused for a moment and went, tell them to get me something. I want something. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, dad, I'll tell them to get you something. So I added a picturesque uh, scenic moose book to my throne for my father for him so if you want to chat if you want to get my dad a gift you can get him a beautiful moose book is that what he wants uh, yeah, he'll like it maybe i don't know yeah it was <laughs> there was no consultation it's just this seems like a thing my dad would like yeah i just saw it and i'm like yeah he'd like this oh my god i started building gallopmon and finishes during that whole rant i'm very sorry Oh my god. Anyway. Good choice, though. The cats seem to be mellowing out. No, don't eat that. Oh god, never mind. <laughs> you spoke too soon. How'd you get a rubber band? Where did you even get this from? Oh, gross. Huh. Got there. Goblin. Okay. What? There we go. I'll hug you. Oh no! You want to be hugged? Okay. Okay. Sorry. Oh man. All right. Well, we were, we were we got a lot of side quests. I remember. I'm just looking through your throne. Sorry. Why are you looking through my throne right now? Because I'm curious. Oh, you know what? This makes sense. What? What makes sense? I'm just looking. I'm just looking at what's on here, and I'm no. like, yep, yep. What mm -hmm. makes sense? Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Hi, Chew. Sweet and sour. We've got an Okami figurine. We've got the Moose book. Very important. The, yes, very important. Uh, miniature leaves. Gotta have them. <laughs> Animal Crossing stuff for days. Yes. So one, two. I have, Three, I'm, I'm on a bit of an four. Animal Crossing kick now. What can I say? The Marvel Crisis one, I'm not. I'm, I'm kind of. Austin told I'm me surprised. about that game. Austin uh, and I were chatting, and Austin said he really liked it, and I was like, ooh. So I added it because you know I've heard a lot of people say it's really fun. Do you really need a ball with a hundred numbers on it? Wild Magic. Oh, yeah, D100. Yeah, Wild Magic. You have to. Oh, there's the there's a there's a nice. Digimon. Ooh. Ooh, is that a Gallantmon? Yeah, it's sold out right now, I think, though. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can't add it to my cards. I can't add the freaking. Why are you buying here. shit? What? Don't buy shit. Okay. <laughs> Except for the Moose Book. Buy the Moose Book for my father. I'm joking. <laughs> no, that would be really weird because he's seen me before. He has, yes. Did you enjoy his mustache, by the way? Uh, I, I don't know how to respond to that. It was interesting. Um, who are we what gonna... kind of mustache? Um, what kind of mustache? How do I describe that? There are different types. 
you don't know. <laughs> uh, How would you describe his mustache, Bosco? Uh, normal. <laughs> that doesn't... <sighs> normal? Does It's not normal. It's eternal. If I'm being honest, I don't really remember. It wasn't really the highlight of my trip. Fair enough. And he was looking at me suspiciously through the window, so I didn't yeah. exactly get a really good long look at it. And I didn't want to, like, make direct eye contact and stare at him while I took in his facial features. Because it would have only exacerbated the suspicion. My dad is notorious in the neighborhood for staring outside the window like a fucking guard dog and watching yep. everything. I wanted to troll him so bad, but I also didn't want to make it weird for Monty. I feel like if he was staring out the window at me, I would just stare right back into his eyes. That, I didn't want to... <laughs> <laughs> when someone meets my gaze, I will not avert mine. They uh, will avert theirs. We have a shit ton of stuff here. We're gonna go here, I think. We go to the Citadel? I don't know. I don't know if that's where everything is, but I definitely I wanna... know we had a order of operations. Yep. I wanna help Kas I wanna help Kasumi. I wanna I wanna help her out. Oh god our fuel. Well, she's down to the south. Your, your fuel's fine. Okay, cool. Ooh, planets. Planets unexplored. Stare directly at Monty's dad and be like, Hello, father of my beloved. <laughs> oh, God, please don't. They'll make you fun have, of me. You have done well. <laughs> I appreciate your patronage to this world. I appreciate your contribution to this world. Also, chat, I'm going to apologize in advance. This, this... This stream is so is gonna be so scuffed, and I'm sorry. Just between like every you can't see it, but I'm turning around and checking on my cats constantly just to make sure they're all right. Cause I basically have to watch them. I can't really leave them unattended, especially Goblin, cause she is like I said very. You need to state. return the cat cam. I want to get a new webcam. That is something I'm looking at getting to. Yeah, but then the old webcam becomes your cat cam. Um, the old webcam might be potentially used for something else or remain. I don't know. I have I have some ideas. Probe launched. Oh, depleted. Okay, nice. Suppose that is one negative. Whenever I'm speaking to someone, I don't know what to do with my eyes, so I just lock onto theirs, and it makes people uncomfortable. No, I I've been told to stop staring at people too. I think they just don't like eye contact anymore. I mean, some people it can be a lot, like a little overstimulating to have someone directly look at you, which I, I, I apologize in advance, Monty. My eyes will meet yours and not move until you look away. That's that's horrifying. Thank you. It's like a weeping angel. Yeah, that's why <laughs> yeah. it's horrifying. Thank you. Away. You know these uh -oh. sweet and sour oh candies. Look oh god! One second, sorry, I gotta check. Goblin, why are you running? Why are you running? Stop running. You need to, like, relax. That's how I can describe my conversation style from now on. It's like a weeping angel. Goblin. Horrifying and uncomfortable. Goblin, I need you to chill. Can you chill for five seconds? How do you have energy? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'll let you go. Oh, God. What do you want? Well, what? What the fuck? There's a piece of lettuce on the floor. Who <laughs> fucking lettuce? Get lettuce. <laughs> what have you had lately that has lettuce? What are you doing, Monty? Hold on, I'm taking a photo. Why is there a random piece of lettuce on the floor? I had sushi earlier, but it. What? What the fuck? This is the worst stream ever. I like. Do I even <laughs> upload this shit to YouTube? Yes, I will. This is, I can't I mean, wait. You say to worse, you will. Chat seems entertained. Oh my god, dude! And here. your YouTube comments will be great. <laughs> here, this is the lettuce. That's a big piece of lettuce. Yeah. A massive piece of lettuce. What the <laughs> fuck? Why? Can you guys post the picture to my chat so chat can see it? Yeah, I got it. Thank you. <laughs> Where did that come from? I it, I think it was it was a garnish with my sushi, but that was on the counter 
and I just checked and like Monty, they're cats and you left it on the counter. Of course it's on the floor. But why the lettuce specifically? Because they were probably curious and pulled it down and then were like, oh, this is not interesting anymore, and then left it. Because <laughs> that's cats. That's not a big piece of lettuce. It's not it's like an average piece of lettuce at best. That's a big piece of lettuce. That's a pretty big piece of Fucking lettuce. Fucking Americans, man. Look, we don't do big veggies or fruits. I, we do I big know. Meat. Oh god. We're lucky if our burgers have a shred of lettuce on it. You ever have a lettuce wrap burger? I don't know what that uh, is. It is a burger where instead of the bun, instead it's of the buns, it's yeah. No, nope, no, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan either. Draco likes. I'm not lettuce. big on lettuce to begin with. Draco likes. I, you know, that doesn't surprise me. That fucking dragon. Probe launched. Oh man. Giant dinosaur-looking motherfucker. Can I just? Can I? Can I say? Iceberg lettuce hmm. is. is is the worst lettuce. It's crunchy water. It's crunchy water. We were watching a tier list of, of vegetables and it was like the, like the, it was shit. Oh, it's cheap, yeah. yeah. There's nothing to it. Ro yes, romaine is the goat. Romaine is, is, is. Probe away. Romaine, romaine is the king's lettuce, dude. I absolutely Watch would, Bob. Bob. Oh God. Arkham's the kind of guy that would take a burger, burger patty and put it between two pieces of chicken. I don't... KFC was made for Arkov. I did like the double down. I'm sure you did. That doesn't surprise me at I all. I really wanted to try their cheetah. I want it. I'm I sure want to cook did. for you, but I'm also worried that you're going to be like, no, I want dinosaur nuggets instead, and I'm going to want to die. <laughs> I mean, dinosaur nuggets are pretty fucking good. I can't even lie. Away. The only thing I'll draw the line at is cabbage. I... You don't like Hate cabbage? The smell of cooking cabbage. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, it's okay. There you go. Shit. I keep doing this. I always go back too far. The smell of cooking cabbage is the quickest way to get me to vacate a space. I'll remember that. What cabbage? I don't know. I just know every time it's been I don't cooked think... in this house, I have to leave. Leave the house? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me probe so I have... Oh I'm, oh, I'm good. Sorry, chat. I know this isn't the most riveting probe gameplay, away. but... While the cats are still being whack jobs, I want to make sure I can keep an eye on them. My neck is going to hurt by the end of the day. Oh, we're here for the vibes? Well, these vibes are clown fiesta -y. Launching probe. Uh... Monty, I worry about your boyfriend sometimes. Yeah, you and me both. Though I will say, last night I asked a question and our call rose to the occasion, so I'm proud. Our call? You're not gonna, you're not gonna, you're not gonna elaborate? <laughs> I'll, let, I'll let our call elaborate if he wants to. I know that he, he told you already, but. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, we weren't on stream for that. No. Nope. So when I was doing my stream last night, Monty sent me a question out of the blue. She it is spaced out, one line at a time. That's Monty to a T. It's Arkolf. I have an important relationship question. I ask, what's your question? She says, would you slap me with a tortilla if it was funny? No hesitation, I put absolutely. I would expect you to do the same, especially if it makes a funny sound. Excellent. And in addition, we both have to hold water in our mouths when we slap each other for maximum funnies. I respond again immediately, absolutely. And then she sent me a heart. For context, that was the correct answer. For context, I watched a video of like these two girls doing that, and I thought it was hilarious. And I'm like, I want to slap Arkhal with a tortilla, and I want him to slap me with a tortilla. Be funny. <laughs> Hashtag relationship goals. I have an advantage because he's got such a <laughs> he's got such an open space from like his past his chin all the way. Beyond. That is not what I I expect you to be like. I have an advantage because he can only see it coming from one side. No, I have an advantage because it's really necessary for me to slap. It is, but it just shows you how nice Monty is and how awful I am. 
I'm like, I could take advantage of his blind side. No, like, no, he's got he's... a big chin. No, no, no. Listen, Hollywood taught me that if you're blind, you have super senses, and it doesn't matter. That's the problem, though. He's only half. <laughs> yeah, so he's got half super senses. He's not all the way there. <laughs> he's half of what Daredevil is. <laughs> he's Air Evil. <laughs> I'm half the man I could be. I can't believe Arkov doesn't have the D. Uh... Good job. Good. Any more? Oh, there we are. There we go. I love God. how weird Monty is. That's Monty's much... very weird. It's great. Oh, God. Wait, there's still more? What the fuck? Oh, 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 where? Oh, hi, Goblin. Welcome back. Also, someone came in and was like, what's going on with the cats? And Goblin went to the vet, and she was on an aesthetic, because they had to clean her teeth. So she's a little bit weird right now. Uh, specifically, though, she's very high energy, which is bizarre. They told me she would be, like, not like that. So I'm just keeping an eye on her. So I have to keep the door open, which means both the cats are coming in and out, and chaos is ensuing. Uh, I'm gonna save real fast because I just did the real up there. Alright, let's help Kasumi. Have you done this? I have. have I have. This? I beat the game before Kasumi was a thing. Naru Hodo. I've done all the DLC. What's going on upstairs? Oh, I think someone's dropping off a parcel. I think we're getting a 13 Absol's Infinite Kitty experience here. The dog just hit the room. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry. So I did something yesterday I haven't done in a long time. Yeah. Misjudged distance and I walked into a wall. Oh no. <laughs> oh. That's Arkham. him. That's my man. You poor me. I'm your man. <laughs> All right, let's go help Kasumi. The stream is a blast. The stream is something, man. Looking good, Miss Allison Gunn. Hawk won't be able to keep his eyes off you. What the? Wait, wait, what? Is that me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You probably didn't read the mission brief, did you? Oh, you didn't, yeah, you definitely did. Are we going undercover? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh my God. I have to. I have to lie. I assume Allison Gunn is my cover. You run a small but talented band of mercs out in the Terminus systems. Precisely the type of person Hawk respects. I took the liberty of giving you a reputation, papers, witnesses. Article in Badass Weekly. Just, just don't badass start weekly. talking business with him, and you'll be fine. Don't. Okay. Don't talk business. Remind me, what kind of man are we dealing with? Hawk's a weapons dealer and smuggler. He killed my partner and stole his gray box. Other than that, he's not so bad. Rich, charismatic, willing to crack open a man's skull to get at the neural implants inside. Take it I'm wearing this get up for a reason. You'd look really out of place at a society party in armor, don't you think? You look great. You should wear this stuff more often. Huh. Now's probably a good time to fill me in on the details. You have been waiting patiently. Our friend Hawk is throwing a party for his closest friends. Oh. A couple dozen of the worst liars, cheaters, and mass murderers you'll ever want to meet. All bringing gifts as a tribute to the man himself. Our tribute is a lovely statue of your old friend Saren. Oh, great! With loving detail and filled to the brim with our weapons and armor. You can keep your pistol as long as it's concealed. They won't hassle you over a sidearm. Once inside, we'll make our way to Hawk's vault door, somewhere in the back of the ballroom. Then, we case the security and start peeling away the layers. The statue should be there, waiting for you to crack it open and arm up. Oh, okay. And then we just waltz into the vault and take back KG's gray box. And I'll finally get a chance to say goodbye. You've worked really hard on this. KG must have meant a lot to you. 
Was I that obvious? Keiji's gray box holds a lot of priceless personal memories. It's all that remains of who he was. Mm. But the secret he discovered is dangerous. I wouldn't bring you here if it wasn't. Alright. Uh, Turnabus from Northrander. I love this mission. Yeah, this is neat. I like this. I never got to it in uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. But there was like a, you go to like a party or something, and I love that. I love when stories like make you go to like high society oh, parties yeah, the party and, in and you see like characters like wearing like nice attire when they usually wouldn't. It's pretty fun. I think this on Dishonored made you do that too. I uh, that it yeah it did. God, Dishonored I love was, Dishonored. Yeah, I never saw the I never played or saw the second game, but I remember the first game. I have the second game. I actually need to play it. I might as I should do that for throwback. Good old Corvo. Yep. I got through the first game and got the ghost achievement. Never detected, even once. Well, here's a Damn, question for nice. Monty. What do you like about your boyfriend? Yes. He's a boy. <laughs> and a friend. And a friend. Um, I mean, you know. We don't have time. Damn. We don't have time. Put her on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> we don't got time. I mean, I, I've told our call fly. I like him, I think. I'd like to think I have. No, yeah. it's not because he's big buff and bald guys. Come on. I'm like a capybara. There's more to it than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Well, let's go. This ought to be interesting. That's what I'm going for. Oh, there's my Saren statue. It's just as dead as he is. After you, Ms. Gan. Isn't that a bit on the nose for someone who looks exactly like the famous Commander oh, Shepard oh, to bring a Saren statue? There seems to be an issue with the statue. Is there a problem? Yeah. Oh, there's no, guy. Mr. Huck. Just doing a scan. I don't believe we've met Donovan Huck. Allison Gunn. A pleasure. Sir, the scanners are Shake my hand. Hmm. I don't think our guests would come all the way here from Ilium just to cause trouble. Do you? Is he Scottish? What is he doing? I don't know. Through Ms. Gunn. You were invited after all. What is his accent? He's bouncing back and forth you between multiple. The hope. Of course. No problem. You're the host. Enjoy the party. Well, that didn't go as South expected. African. Any idea why he'd send you away? No. We've never seen each other in person. And no one knows what I look Space. like. Space. Just watching his ass, I'm sure. I can't blame him. Didn't she say KG's gray box held memories? Probably memories yes. of him with her. I'd uh, wager this guy has knows what she looks like. Yeah, probably knows why she's here, maybe. Who knows? What do we do now? We go on with the plan. You'll just have to do all the talking. Oh, great. I'll stay out of sight and stick with you the best I can. We'll keep radio contact in case something goes wrong. We need to find the door and case the security. We'll figure out the next step then. Okay. Oh, I have to locate the vault door. How did you ever contain that situation on the holler? Oh, that? A quick application of force, a little pressure, and bam! Done. What's Back weird is I'm familiar with the South African, travel, or at least a South years. African accent, because Trevor Noah had one. That one I'm not nearly as familiar with, but I will trust the chat. Fancy. Yeah. That goes to a security room. We'll probably have to get in there at some point. Let's some say Commander Shepard is still alive. Really? Oh, please. It's wishful thinking at best. They don't know. They are lacking critical information. Hi, Goblin. So the mass murderers and serial killers are saying it's wishful thinking that you're still alive. Mm-hmm. Oh, hello. Hi, Goblin. 
Oh, you're being, now you're being affectionate again. Headbutting you? No, it'd be help, though. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye! What, you coming back now? Hi. Hi, honey. How you feeling? You seem pretty alright. You doing okay? When the crash comes, it's gonna come hard. Oh, yeah, she's gonna, she's gonna... When she goes to sleep, she'll be asleep for a while, I think. But they told me that, like, you know, she should be pretty, like, lethargic. But, like, she's not at all. But they said, like, after she has, like, a long sleep, she should be fine. And if she's still acting kind of weird, then that's a problem. Okay. Hi. Hi. Okay, yes, I'm petting you. I'm petting you. I'm petting you. You're playing Mass Effect. Don't play Mass Effect with your butt. Thank you. Hi, honey. Hi. Don't bite me. <laughs> okay. Sorry, chat. She's currently... This is unfortunately just part of the stream today. It's just I have to kind of give the cat some attention, because... Hi. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Come here, sit. Okay. You good? You good? Okay. I will be back in just a few minutes. Okay. Okie dokie. Okay, come here. She keeps whipping her tail around. Like, that's the biggest indicator that she's acting weird. Like, obviously cats, like, flick their tails when they're annoyed. But she's just, like, her tail is going everywhere. Like, there's no rhyme or reason to her tail. It makes, like, mm -hmm. no sense. Hey, hi. Hi. Do not bite me. Hi, I love you. I love you. I I know, I know. You okay? Oh, okay. You good? She just fell off my armrest. Alright. Well. How do you do, fellow gentlemen and gentle ladies? I love the, uh, formality. And the... Champ Monogne. Could I have a Champ Monogne, please? <laughs> Ooh, art. Ooh, LEC art. LCD fire. What's your read on that Archangel guy? I hear he's dead. Or gone, or something. Good riddance, I say. <laughs> Talking about Garrus, too. Uh, Private Reams. No way we can sneak out of that party. The place is locked down tight and security chief Rose in charge. No way Roe would let that get past her. I'd rather stand around board on guard duty than risk her wrath. Sorry. Chief Roe, huh? She sounds like a hard ass. If we could tap into the guard's communications, I could probably use this information. <sighs> this is interesting. Where is this taking place? It was on the, this random planet, right? Oh, yeah, Mr. Hawk's vault is exquisite. Who could know? He never lets anyone near it. Say, what's that? Hawk's bedroom, I believe. Wow, who's his architect? This is a very impressive place. Or a very large one, at least. Beckenstein. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, there's a security guard. Do I want to talk to Hawk? God. We'll go talk to Hawk. Why not? He's gun. We need to case the vault gun. You can chat up Hawk later. Okay. You there, Bosco? Yep. Hawk's private rooms are off limits without proper clearance. I'm dying to get in there, but we have to scope out the vault first. Okay, find the vault first. Also, it feels really weird, like, doing this, like, white woman jog at, like, a fancy party. <laughs> Very nice. There's more here than I expected. 
Ugh, it feels weird. Password protected voice lock, kinetic barrier, DNA scanner. Looks like an EX700 series. Everything a vault needs to be impenetrable. This gonna be a problem? Please, remember who you're talking to. We'll need to get a voice sample for the voice lock. You'll have to go chat up Hawk for that. We'll have to find a password too. DNA, child's play. We should find plenty of DNA samples in Hawk's private quarters. And the barrier? Cut the power. Never fails. If we can find it, Katie could get through a system like this in his sleep. And I'm better. Let's get to it. Okay. Time to be a spy. Time to be a spy. This is neat. This is differently yeah. a departure from go and fight. I, I Like I said, I've never done this mission because I, I didn't get a chance to do the DLC in Mass Effect 2, but I like that they change up what you have to do and it's not just run and shoot all the time. So don't talk business with him. Correct. Oh boy, here we go. Hey baby, do you come here often? I bet anyone who does is an alcoholic. Ms. Gunn, good to see you. That scene at the door hasn't soured your evening, I hope. I understand the security, but who would dare try to break into Donovan Hawk's home? Gun, in our line of work, we attract a certain element. Few understand the pains we take to keep the barbarians at bay. People these days want Quickish. comfort, entertainment, love. They don't see that the galaxy is fragile. They only have to worry about simple luxuries. Why? Because people like me and you are doing the terrible things that keep the galaxy spinning. This party is for us. The cleaners. The support structure for the galaxy's gleeful delusions of peace. May there always be a market for the things we do. And they all clapped, and everybody clapped. I said get him talking, and you got him talking. We've got enough of a voice sample. Let him go. Enjoy the party, Miss Gunn. Once we find the password, we can get past the voice scanner. Let me unlock that security room door for you. There we go. Ready when you are. Oh, God, you scared me, Kasumi. <laughs> oh, Jesus, okay. I have that problem too. So many passwords around here. I can't keep them straight. The password for tonight is Perugia. So it's not even that easy to remember. It's no big deal anyway. That voice scanner means the password's only used with the hawk anyway. After this party, you want to grab some beers? Let me know. Oh no! Got something? Yeah. The password is Perugia. Oh, Perugia. Huh. That's the name of the man who stole the Mona Lisa. <gasps> what is this? Nice. I tapped their communications. I think we can get past that private room guard. Tell him Chief Rowe sent you. Now, I just take the voice sample we got from Hawk and... Got it. Now we can crack that voice scatter. They got Krogan anime. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, anime is real. Okay, no one heard me shoot two security guards. The door was closed behind you. Thank yeah, you. the door was closed. No one could possibly hear that. Hello. Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security clearance. I have clearance to go in. On whose authority? Chief Rose. I have authorization from Chief Rowe. Okay, one second. Chief Rowe, Samuels. Have you given access authorization uh -oh. to Mr. Hawk's private rooms? They have access, Samuels. They'll stop bothering me. Got it. Sorry to bother you, ma'am. Oh, thank God. Okay. Thank you, Kasumi. You're clear to go in. Enjoy the party. Do 
Damn, this is a fancy place. Mm hmm. Look for anything we can get usable DNA from. Just make it quick and quiet. Oh my god. Yeah. <gasps> Found a sample? No, a credit shit. <laughs> I got a dollar! Mm -hmm. Amazing! Not a great saliva sample, but it's still useful. We're going to need more than this for the scanner, though. Good morning. Time to wake up. Sorry. This is cute. It's clean. It's a plant. <laughs> hmm. No DNA, but... Looks like Hawk's been trying to crack Keiji's gray box. Looks like he's missing something. He hasn't cracked the encryption yet. Holographic interface. Won't find a sample here. This is cute. I like this. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. No hair, no skin flakes. The housekeepers must be thorough. Empty. Too bad. A cigarette butt would have been a good source. Oh my god, this is like the easiest one ever. Yeah, it's super easy. What the hell? It was the easiest hack ever. The cleaners don't dare touch treasures like this. We can get some skin cells from the dust. It's probably contaminated though. We should find another sample. Data pad. Okuda, decryption project update. Little progress to report. We have now completed dictionary attacks using words and phrases from 4,800 galactic languages. Research into the Okada family has not produced any matches. It's likely that a random brute force approach will produce a result within our lifetimes. Given the nature of the gray box technology, it's possible that the decryption key may not be a password at all. It could be a memory, an emotion, even a smell. The permutations could be infinite. I suggest that we begin investigating alternate methods for breaking through the security on the box. We can probably get Hawk's DNA off the data pad. He seems to have obsessed over this. That should do it. All right, so let's get out of here. I'm gonna save because we've been doing a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, Goblin. Goblin is returned. Hello. Hi, honey. Hi. How are you feeling? You're still very high energy, which is, you know, I guess is good. Hi. Hi, honey. Hi. Hi. Yes, you're being a huge suck, honey. Hi. I know. Is it scary? The vet said that she didn't, uh... She was very good going into it, but coming out of it, she was not very happy. I mean, it was very difficult to put you in the carrier, too, they said. Hi. I mean, you're purring. Oh, careful, careful, careful. <laughs> She's like, Mom, stop kissing me. <laughs> there we go. Gross. <sighs> all right. Monty cooties. Yep. Monty cooties all over her now. Do, 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 yeah, do, they're both do, doing okay. Do, do, do. Oh. It looks like the barrier's power cable runs under the floor here. I'll set your Omni tool to scan for electromagnetic fields. Oh, I see. Yeah. Also, lovely koi pond. Mm -hmm. uh. One sec. 
That should take care of the barrier. Oh. Okay. Saving. Spriggan's a potato. Spriggan's just lying down on my desk right now. Excellent. The villains always have the nicest no. mansions. Yeah. yeah. I mean, rich people tend to be evil, so you know. That got it. The barrier's down. DNA identification affirmed. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. Password required. Illusion. Voice ID accepted. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. There we go. I'll check for security cams. Go ahead and get dressed. I want to get dressed in front of Saren. It's a little weird. We're good. Oh, this looks cool. This looks really cool. What the hell is all this? So this is Hawk's fault. Very nice. This scanner will hone in on the gray box. It's not far. Wait, Michael he owns Michelangelo's David? Michelangelo's David. Just they took the peepee -pee off. Think we could get this out through the door? Well, yeah, it'd be lewd otherwise. Mm -hmm. Oh, you see that thing over there? That thing? Yeah. Doesn't look like much, but that might be one of the most valuable pieces here. Turian art is rare outside of Palavin. For good reason, I say. Wow. Imagine that thing coming at you in a dark alley. Do you recognize that? Is this from Dragon Age? That is the ogre from Dragon Age Origins. Oh, yep. wow. That's hilarious. Wow. Yeah, they threw it in there. Imagine that thing coming at you in a dark alley. That's a cute little Easter egg. This is nice. Oddly relaxing. Also, I like Turian art. Ugh. I guess everything's valuable to someone. Hawk has good taste. I'll give him that. Is that the Statue of Liberty's head? Huh? Yep. Oh my god. I forgot about that. This looks like Quarian script. Wow. This has got to be old. When was the last time the Quarians wrote on stone? Ow, goblin, your tail, relax. 100 bits from Corin Solis. Oh, hell yeah, my fave mission. Just came back from visiting Grandma in the hospital. She's fine, just breathing problems. So I hope she gets better soon. Yeah, fingers oh, crossed. Oh, a Prothean statue. Creepy. Ugh. Looks more like a freaking uh, mind flare. This looks like H.R. Geiger shit. I mean, you saw those on Ilos. Still get money for something like this, even outside the alliance. Asari go nuts for this sort of thing. That's impressive. Not sure what it is though. I feel like its eyes are following me. Yikes! Oh, that's it right there. But I want, I want to keep looking at shit. The model of the Kara. It's like a Turian Titanic, the way I hear it. 
in an iceberg? A uh, space uh, iceberg. It's like, called an asteroid. How did Hawk get Lady Liberty's head? Damn you, Hawk. <laughs> Damn you all to heck. Damn you. All right. That's a Casa Locus. No, the Casa Locus. The gun that killed two presidents. Gorgeous. It even comes with a perfect copy, too. I'm sure Hawk won't mind if we borrow these. This is valuable. Ooh. SMG. Nice. There's your gray box. Oh my god. There it is. That was in his head? He had a big head. Don't bother Miss Goto. It's a cold ah! I had a feeling Welcome to City 17. I knew if it was really you, you'd get through anyway. You know me. I don't like to disappoint. I need what's in your grey box, Kasumi. You know I'm willing to kill you for it. I'll admit your skills are impressive. You got into my vault like I'd left it open. But you're still going to die screaming just like your old oh, friend. Damn it. Let's see you try. That's fine. I missed I missed the this renegade, but it's fine. Special skills come into play, Shepherd. Let's do this. Fight in the art gallery. Let's give this shit a try. Oh no, I have my sniper out. That's Watch good. your sniper, yeah. Oh, oh no! Oh god, cats. <laughs> the moment combat starts. Goblin, careful. Sorry. We're perfectly fine. But it's also okay. You'd be I. Your goblin is wired, man. All right. Now you see me. Oh, it's Chief Row. He's not a Rugadin. It's alright. He's a phony. Nice. Uh, thank you, Jarrah's or Jarrah's seven one four six for getting that sub to Sark. Ah, thank you. Going dark. If I mispronounced your name, please do correct me. There's a landing pad to the east. Let's get out of here. Joker, bring the shuttle in. Now! Alright. Now to make Smash our daring escape. Oh. What is happening? Why was there a spork? Bang. What was the spork noise? That was a grenade. Uh-oh. What kills armor again? Uh, that has shields first, so you need electricity. Yeah. Shields is electricity. Armor is fire. Is it fire? You can use your five and your seven here. Why your seven? Miss. No, you didn't. You set a wall of fire. Never mind. You did miss. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm a god. Oh god. That works. Can't get there. 
Oh god, I love this gun so mm -hmm. much. Best gun it's in the series. Gun. If By this gun far, were a person, have... I'd kiss it on the mouth. That gun is Arkhold? Do not kiss the gun. Damn it! We have to find another way. I will save. I'm pretty certain this gun's in the third game too, isn't it, Bosco? Widow? Yeah, I think the Widow's in every game. There we go. Nice. Nice. Slowly money. getting your money back. That's a lot of max. Uh oh. Oh my god. All right. Those missiles? Oh no. They sure are. We should not be fighting here. Hopefully it's just the shells. What is this like? Hold on. Oh my god. You missed my message bit? Uh, sorry, we'll get to it in a oh, second. Where at? Yeah, I thought there was a widow in ME1. What the hell is happening? Going silent. What the fuck oh. is happening with my mouth? 100 bits from Gorn saying, question for the three of you. Have you ever played a Blood Hunter class in D&D, and what did you think of it? I have not. I have not either. It is not an official class, technically. Well, it, it might be. It's, it's a Matt Mercer homebrew it's class. It's a Matt Mercer homebrew class. Um, seeing it played, I'm not the biggest fan of it, just on a surface level, because it's a little too self-destructive. I don't like the RNG from what I've read of it. Yeah. Classes with RNG built in are a bit of a hard sell. Wild Magic gets away with it because it's such a rare chance. Yeah. When I've read of Blood Hunter. It's really fucking common. I was incorrect. The widow is not in number one. I thought it was. I double checked, but it is in two, three, and then drop. Nope. Okay. Uh, not that I know of, anyway. Pretty certain we've had this question before. Yeah, I've also never played a blood hunter either. Hello. Shooting into melee, Monty Glue. Wowie, wowie. Howie, zowie, owie. Alright, nice. Yowie, wowie. Yeah, my, my mouse is acting up. It's weird. Uh, no one is mentioning anything online about being able to change the zoom, so you're out of luck. Alright, that's fine. Ooh! Robot room, very fun. Oh, volatile tanks. This seems like a formula for success. Oh, mass accelerator cannon. You had the ability to change the zoom in Mass Effect 1, but it seems to be gone in 2. Ah, uh, this brings back, brings back memories. That got it. Don't let wow. me with my property. What is your accent? Oh my god. I'm doing my best here. Ow. Hey. The hell is this like flashbang shit? It's a flashbang. Also, for for people who are saying this is a South African accent, I'm confused because this is a very white dude from Canada playing him. 
Whoops. It definitely sounds like someone putting on an accent. Oopsie! Did I do that? <laughs> Did I do that? Hi, Goblin. Did I do that? Hi, Goblin. No, this is Spriggan. Hi, Spriggan. Sorry, Spriggan. Hi, you mistake them. One has fur, one doesn't. I... Listen, I'm tired, dude. <laughs> okay, hi. Aw, oh, you're so cute. Yeah? Yeah? Goblin. Oh, guys, don't fight. Come on. Hi. Hi, honey. Oh, hi, little honey. You're gonna. True story. It's the same guy that voices Donnelly. So. Maybe that's why the accent's so Bill, mixed. Bill, Bill Masuda, you're yeah. supposed to be on supper. Twenty-six months. Goblin, Spriggan. Spriggan. Oh no, Kaiju! I'm aware that there's plenty of white people in South Africa. I just wasn't sure if they got somebody who was native or not. That's why I was looking it up. Because yeah, I'm sure the there's accent? a lot of different dialects. Because, like, Trevor Noah's got a South African accent, but it sounds nothing like this, but I was thinking, oh, it's a different this, dialect. If, 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 but he's if very Canadian. If it's not a specific accent, it feels a bit like um, Letho of Gullet. Because, like, Letho that of I'm Gullet... I'm not familiar with. He's, like, a Welsh dude, or, like, a Dutch... I can't remember what it was. Oh, my God, Zorn the Brer! Thank you for so much for reading a party 166. Oh! Welcome to the uh, Mass Effect stream. I'm hungry. Have a good stream. Bye. Eat. Eat Consume. All. Eat all the things. We're playing Mass Effect. Goodbye, Zorin. You don't talk to a kitchen like that. Murderer. God damn it, dude. Oh god, I got raped by Zorin and I suck. It's not my now sensitivity. I'm nervous. And now I'm missing all my funny hoo-hoo gunshots. It doesn't help that Kasumi's also knocking people over. Bang. Nice. Going silent. I think she just stole that kill from you. Me too. Oh, did she just... Oh, right. That's a rocket launcher. Okay. Shooting into melee, Monty Glue! <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. If it's stupid and it works, it's not stupid. It's no, I don't think that's how it works. No, that's exactly no. how it works. No, because something can be stupid and successful. To me. Also, uh, I may get distracted by cats because my cat uh, had a, like, a procedure done today and I have to keep an eye on keep it. Them busy. I'll take care of this myself. I do a lot of stupid stuff that works out, so. What was it? Gotcha. You said? Yeah, I'm. Oh, sorry, go for it. Hmm? No, I was just going to say, Mad Scientist was saying that this is uh, Afrikaans is. Dutch-like language from South Africa, if I recall correctly. Oh. I'm just not as familiar with it, so but that makes Dude, sense. It is crazy to me how much the Dutch like actually actually interacted interact with a lot of oh god. Like interact with a lot of the Oh god, Jesus Christ. Alright. What do you mean? What do you mean? There we go. That's better. I mean what I say and I say what I mean. Monty Glue is an adorable bean. Aww. Oh god. Damn, Kasumi gets clocked them. Kasumi's acting more like an assassin than Thane does. God, don't anything that's better at long range. Nope. You might have to get up in there. Oh my god, it's the pew pew gun! Oh my god. Pew pew! Oh my god. Okay, Snipper Riffle, you're pretty fun, but this is pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> I love that Monty's about to change her whole fight style just based on the sound of the gun. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't you? Me it personally, makes a really no. satisfying noise. I would. The woman I love, everyone. 
Oh, good to know, Spongy Mystery. I did not know that. But that doesn't surprise me. Monty over here wasting every bullet. <laughs> you can always pick up more from the corpses of our enemies. Except there's none around right now. That's beside Correct. the point. Oh my god! You okay, Monty? I'm having a great time. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is the best. This rules. I got the definition of a pew pew gun. I'm going to use it to murder and do crimes. It has killed two presidents. Oh, yeah, it did. What a hilarious way to die. Incoming. Get down. Oh, shit. You could have done this the easy way, Goldblum. Allow me to show you the hard way. Look left. You may want to equip your electric bullets first. I thought you were tearing through the shields pretty quickly. I just deal with the entourage first. Down you go. The entourage is on the back. Actually, Kasumi can handle them. Oh! Don't die now. We're clear to pew pew. You know what? Thank you. <laughs> this shit is the best, dude. <laughs> Lay down your equipment. How quickly the shield's going down. Computers are good. No! What the fuck? <laughs> Face change. God damn it! It's bullshit, dude. Yep. If you don't want to deal with the rest of the enemies, you do have the black hole. But I have my super rifle. You do, but you're running out of ammo for it. On our left. Lost my target. We've got company. <laughs> Right next to so explosive barrels. Uh, no, I'm not. Where's our boy at? Coward. Uh oh. What did you tell your friend, Kasumi? You're doing this for love? And with full shields. Yeah, I noticed! If I can get to the ship, I can take down the shield. Up ahead. Shepard, I need a clear path to the gunship. Take out these guards. Working on it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, what is it to heal her? It's uh, three, but you gotta wait till you're out of close. Her abilities are on cool though. Yeah, now you can hit it. Shooting into melee, Monty Glue. Hey. We're good. We're Jeez. good. <laughs> Never fun. She says with half her health. All right, cleared the way. Nice. Got a clear shot. Here we go. Go for it, you crazy woman. Damn, parkour. Let's go. That's some. Die, Kasumi, Jesus. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. Shields down. Let's tear that thing apart. Dang, show off. Landing like that would break my hips. Hit him with the fire. No. Look left. He's got guards coming. It's the ad phase, Monty. Alright, well, I'm gonna grab some ammo. God, I'm playing too much hell, divers, man. Why? I keep double Trying to readjust the base is rough, right? Yeah, it's really, really hard. Get ready, chat. Got the QQ gun. It's on fire. Why don't you change to a different one, genius? Oh, Kasumi, oh, I almost gave Kasumi. you a free haircut. Bye. Damn. Pew pew, motherfucker. And I did not see a parachute. Nope. I mean, he kind of exploded. Whew. That's right. 58 month resub from Masamune. Pew pew. pew, pew. Oh, that's pew, it. Pew. Slew by the pew pew. How come I can't get in? That's a good question, Mega Man. Oh. oh there it is. It had to land. Oh, whatever, man. All right, get us out of here. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Dang, you are so right, Arkov. How on earth did that fit in someone's brain? Exactly. we found is all here. It's big, Kasumi. If the Council ever got wind of this, the Alliance could be implicated. Kasumi, I... I encrypted the information to keep it safe. And I uploaded the encryption key to your gray box, so no one could get the whole package. But if I'm dead, and if anyone knows about this, then I've made you a target, my love. I'm so, so sorry. KG. I know you, Kasumi. You'll want to keep these memories forever. But you don't need some neural implant to Should know I I'll always this? be with you. Please. Kasumi. Whoa! Oh, God! Files. <laughs> There's nothing more I can do to protect you. I, I can't do that. This is all that's left. Goodbye, Kasumi. I love you. Aww. Oh boy. Yep. What are you going to do, Monty? Mm hmm. Is there any way we can just destroy the information? No. Cage is a master at encrypting files. He laced the information into his memories. You can't get one without experiencing the other. Oh, man. It's what he wants. What are you going to do? I mean, I'm going to say it's what he wants, and that's going to be her choice, I'm assuming. Hmm. What's his final wish? It's up to her it, whether she wants him respected or not. Yep. Yeah. 
You heard him, Kasumi. He'd want you to destroy the information and save yourself. I know. I just... I can't. This is all that's left of him. Oh, God damn it! Now nah, they're gonna make you make the choice. Oh, Let boy. me kill your dead boyfriend. I mean, <laughs> the thing is... She has the memories already in herself, right? Well, but not like... This is like being able to relive them. Yeah. But... You know... She's dealing with grief. It's not a rational decision. It's not. It's just pure emotions. But you have to move on, right? You can't... You know... Big solace in the fact it hurts. That means it meant something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and... The question is, who's gonna do it? I mean, I'll do it. If it's easier, I could do it for you. I... Okay. Just get it over with. Please. Sorry, Kasumi. Uh, so he has a new outfit. New mm -hmm. outfit, all right. Oh. Now I'm curious how that affects the story what? because I've I didn't what Oh what? right, you have a new casual outfit. And yeah. back up to your <laughs> God you damn good. it! Not right you now. Look good. Yeah, you look good. God damn it. You can head back up to your cabin to fix this. Yeah, but we don't have to do that. You can yeah. also try out some of the new armor parts you've been buying. It's true. True, true. Hey, look at all the fish that you don't have. Uh, casual pants. That. Yeah. Oh, I have two. You have two. Ooh, looking good. Hell. All right, that's that's my jam. <laughs> Back to the hoodie and sweats. Armor. Um, be, be the individual pieces, like the legs, shoulders, and arms. Okay. Amplifier plates. Does this change my stats? Yes. You can mm -hmm. scroll down to see what it does. Increase power by 5%. Increase weapon damage by 3%. All right. Pretty happy with the way my stuff looks. Shields. Mm hmm. Increases shields, increases health. I think I'm gonna increase health. Health support. That's health by 10%? Damn. Damn. I hate how it looks, though. And then keep the other one. Nah. This is my ass kicking outfit, bitch. <laughs> I think my frame picture of Liara is gone. No, it's still there. God damn it. <laughs> uh. I mean, it's glitching. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah? Oh, hi. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Yeah? Okay? You okay? Sorry. Knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> Knock it off, you two. What is wrong with meowing? Hi, Goblin. How are you? Hello, Goblin. How are you, my, a little goblin. my soft baby peach? How are you? How are you? Wouldn't Spriggan be the soft baby peach? No, she's the soft baby peach. Spriggan is the feather duster. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're starting to, you you look like you're ready to start going. She's literally blinking one eye after the other. <laughs> yeah. 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 Can I say no? Oh yeah, you're too 
teeth are all nice and clean and now I can brush them and they're actually going to get clean. The vet also mentioned I should probably look into just a dental food to help a little bit more. <clears throat> because just rinse friggin' both. But if I can get brushing like consistently, that should be good. Mm. Hey, you're hitting my microphone stand. I really hate to do it, and I know a lot of people are going to be a little upset, but I think I am going to actually end the stream there because I am very tired. I was up super early this morning, and I'm actually feeling very tired right now. No, you're good. Um, you should check the messages at your private terminal. Oh, first. God, yeah, I should. Um, <laughs> so, I, you know, it's a shorter session. I did spend, like, half of it talking about a dresser. I'm sorry. Um, you're fine. But we did Kasumi's quest, which was great, and that mm -hmm. was really, really fun. So we did manage to get a quest done. Again, sorry, this 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 uh, this session was very weird because we had the cats and then just a lot of gabbing beforehand. But um, yeah, I just I, I told the guys when we started, I said that this was probably gonna be just a little short, little little stint, probably one of the side quests, and then probably that's gonna be it. But hey, it's it's a part, and it's still stuff. So, uh, unread messages. Uh, dear sir or madam, uh, having consulted with my colleagues at the Citadel, I have the privilege to request your assistance to transfer a large quantity of protein technology uncovered at Ilios. Believe these materials to be hazardous and danger they're locked in quarantine, even though the test revealed that the fears were groundless. Quarantine remained in effect until one could pay for a permit to request a reclassification of the cultural ministry. Knowing your interest in protein technology, I would be happy to deliver most of it to your hands, keeping less than half for myself. As a vegetarian, I can't... Wait, is this like a... The Prince? Read further down. <laughs> I can't... Uh, keeping less than half for myself. As a vegetarian, I can't engage in council official activities. When you transfer me 20,000 credits required to me, this exchange can be made in your name, enabling us both to profit from this happy accident. Please... Reply urgently with your credit transfer account information. Rest regards, Meganek Edge Hall. <laughs> it is. It's exactly scam. them. Oh my god. Uh, oh. oh, the scout you found. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Back when from, you yelled at. Back from female camp. You're human. The clan leader told me how to get in touch with you. I don't remember much of what happened, but the chief scout said you pulled my quad out of the fire when I got caught and poisoned over at the Werelock camp. Thanks. Next time I have a chance to kill a human, I won't. Unless I go into a blood rage or something. I appreciate the effort. Um, in the words of Tony Hawk, I appreciate the hesitation. <laughs> uh, I got to go to the female camp after I recovered, and it was pretty good. I actually, I was actually thinking of joining the blood pack before this happened. I think I'm going to stay here instead. Erd not dark, scout second class. Yeah, you Monty, did it. you pulled his what? Quad. His quad out of the fire. I, yeah, his quad. Yeah. Oh. All right. Well, that's gonna be you our should session. Save. I should. Yes. Uh, that's gonna be our session. Thanks again. Sorry, guys, that this is a bit of a shorter stream, but like I said, it's just crazy week. A lot of stuff going on. Cats need to be watched, and I'm pretty exhausted, honestly. I probably will get lie rest. Down. I'm probably gonna yeah, lie go down sleep. in the next hour because I'm really feeling it, Mr. Krabs. I only got five hours of sleep last night. And I'm very tired, so. Yeah, the streak lives. Yeah, but with that, thank you so much, Zorin, for raiding. Uh, thank you guys so much for the bits and subs. Uh, I'm going to raid. Who is on right now? We have Rabbit. We have Lani Patur. Oh wow, we have, we have a lot of people on right now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, I think I am going to raid. Uh, hi, Spriggan. Hello, honey. Hi. I know. I know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, you can sit in my lap. That's very nice of you. Thank you. Uh, I think we're going to raid Lanny. We're going to raid Lanny. <laughs> He's playing... He's playing Final Fantasy VII. Oh, yeah. wow. He is at an interesting part. So we're going to raid Lanny Pator.
da, da, da. Oh god, he's at a very serious point. Yep. I might just wait one second. I'm just gonna wait for the cutscene to uh to end. Ch chill out a little bit first. I'm not gonna watch it because who knows, maybe I'll play it one day. Oh my god, sorry, this is a very serious cutscene, Jesus. Alright, our raid message will be... Uh, <laughs> can, can someone, our coffee might need to type this out for me. Hey, where's Dine, my favorite character? D-Y-N-E. Hey, where's Dine, my favorite character? That's going to be our raid message. Copy and paste it. That will be our raid message for Lanny. Alright. Have a good night, everybody. I will see you uh, Wednesday for Unexpectables. Goodbye.